Well, hey there guys, this is John here of course, and we are on the tail end of a backpacking trip down here in the Owyhee Desert of Southwest Idaho. An absolutely gorgeous place, and uh, to be honest, I've had an awesome couple of days here, uh, just roaming the desert, having some fun. Now, uh, with that said, I'm about ready to go home, wash off some of this dust and grime. But before we do, I wanted to just throw together a quick little video in support of a friend of mine, and that is Paul over at BC Outdoor Survival. He recently hit the 1500 subscriber mark here on YouTube, which is an outstanding achievement, and in Paul's case, very well deserved. Anyway, this video is in support of Paul, as I said, and what uh, we're gonna be doing here Paul kind of wanted to know uh, what our three big ticket items are for backpacking. Now, for those of you that are into backpacking, you know that the three uh, main items include your pack, your shelter system, and your sleep system. And so uh, we're going to be showing off uh, actually a snapshot of the gear that I brought along on this particular trip. Now, this is not going to be an advice video, it's not going to be a how-to video, it's not going to be any of that. Like I said, it is going to be a, sn a simple snapshot of what I happen to have along with me right now on this particular trip. Now, when it comes to backpacking systems, I am kind of all over the place, guys, uh, to be honest with you. Um, I live in a state, Idaho, which is incredibly diverse and affords me a lot of opportunities. Uh, just within an hour from home I have access to the desert country here uh, or the high mountains of Idaho or even the Snake River Plain just some incredibly diverse country and so my uh, backpacking hiking gear uh, reflects that in a lot of ways and uh, not to mention that also you know you take into account weather seasons um, you know activities that you may be pursuing while you're out here in these different locales and you come up with a need for a diverse system something that can be tailored to all those uh, variables and uh, you know that kind of mirrors those activities and so that's what I do that's what you see in a lot of my videos you've seen me running uh, with everything from uh, you know some cold weather gear a lot of DIY stuff uh, some low-end gear I, I like to you know save money when I can and you've even seen me on trips with uh, just a, a lumbar pack backpacking up in the mountains you know having a grand time just living out of a lumbar pack you know for a couple days so um, long story short my systems pretty much all over the place so uh, we're gonna get down to this here I've done enough talking I'm gonna strip off the pack here and show you the three big ticket items that I brought along for this particular trip down here in the Waihee Desert the first piece of gear that we're going to be talking about is, of course, the good old pack here. Uh, it forms the foundation of your system and obviously it carries all the gear that you're going to need on your trip. It's your home away from home, essentially. Now, one of the first things that you guys probably noticed already is that this pack is a far departure from anything you've seen in my trip videos that I post here on YouTube. I typically go the ultralight minimalist route uh, and therefore I carry uh, you know, mostly a DIY pack, something just really light and really ultra bare bones, uh, no frills. And this pack is a far departure from that. And what this is is the Teton Sports Summit 2800. It's a much more uh, heavy duty pack and uh, obviously has a little bit more capacity, 2800 cubic inches, and it's a, a lot more of a technical pack. Now the reason for this pack choice on this trip is that I am out here in the desert. I've spent two days out here and there's absolutely no water out here. No sign of water, no water source, anywhere close. So every bit of water that I needed, I had to uh, bring in with me, which obviously counts for a lot of weight. So I needed something that was gonna be able to obviously handle that. Now, secondary to that was the activities that I was uh, pursuing while I was out here. And uh, that varied from, you know, simply just spending a little bit of uh, fire time uh, to doing a little bit of canyoneering, a little bit of uh, rock scrambling, uh, even planned on a few short rappels. Uh, so I needed uh, the, the capability to be able to carry the gear for that that I needed, you know, some climbing rope, obviously, and uh, the hardware for that kind of activity. And, uh, you know, I also needed something that was a little bit more durable just due to the terrain out here. It's very rocky. I was doing a lot of uh, scrambling of rocks uh, and obviously that is hard on your gear. And some of the uh, really ultralight gear uh, was just not up to the task. I wasn't comfortable bringing it with the weight 
uh, that I was bringing on this trip, you know, and just like I said, the terrain. So that was the basis for my pack selection of uh, the Teton uh, Summit 2800 here. And, uh, you know, it's actually been a pretty good pack. Like I said, it's a great technical pack, so it served uh, just, just perfectly for this. And uh, actually, uh, part of the uh, pack system was the ribs pack. Um, this thing is just a, pretty much an everyday carry item for me, guys. It's, it comes with me on every trip. Sometimes it's the only pack I bring uh, for day hikes or you know fishing trips, whatever the case may be. Uh, I generally have the ribs pack with me. And this thing uh, was actually invaluable on this trip. So I guess uh, you could call it a pack system, you know, between these two items. So not gonna go into the ribs too much here, but uh, definitely an important component to the pack system of this trip. Now, moving right along here, uh, since we got it on top, we'll go right to the uh, sleep system here. And as you can see strapped on top, I've just got a, a simple closed cell phone pad. Nothing fancy here. I'm not rocking any, uh, you know, spendy uh, blow up mattress, anything like that. Like I said, I got a three quarter uh, length piece of closed cell foam and that was all I needed out here. The ground is a little bit rocky. Uh, so I definitely needed something that was going to uh, allow a little bit of comfort uh, from that rocky ground. And this did the trick uh, absolutely perfectly. Had a great night, very comfortable night, and, uh, you know, really lightweight. So that was uh, part of the sleep system there, was the uh, pad, always a critical choice. It does insulate you from the ground, as well as uh, allow you to get a good night's sleep just due to the comfort factor. So uh, pad's always critical, obviously. Now next uh, in here, actually this uh, was probably first, is just a, a kind of a ground layer, a ground sheet, which just went under the pad there, you know, kind of protected. Uh, it's really rocky, as I said, it's really dusty out here. Uh, try to keep my gear clean, you know, so this uh, just little, it's kind of like almost a shower curtain, a little bit heavier duty than a shower curtain. So uh, that was the second part to the sleep system. and. The final part was something that uh, you guys are probably familiar with in my DIY stuff was just my uh, DIY down sleeping bag. Um, you know, nothing much to it. it packed really small and uh, nice and light and was perfect for this trip out here in the desert where the temperatures didn't get too cold. Um, you know, like I said, it's been rocking about 90 degrees in the daytime, uh, but nights do uh, get a little bit chilly out here. We dipped probably into the mid 40s and uh, the bag was just fine uh, it was a, was a great choice for this trip here so uh, that was uh, the sleep system so that leaves us with the shelter system and once again simplicity on this trip uh, that was one of the beauties of this trip was uh, just the kind of the simplicity of it all just you know uh, I like to try to keep it that way that's kind of the theme of all my stuff is uh, you know, just enjoying where I'm at, enjoying, uh, I guess, the activities, enjoying the surroundings, and not necessarily a high focus on the gear that I have with me. I like to keep it minimal for that reason, just because there's less stuff to, you know, to, to fuss over, you know, whatever the case may be. But anyway, this isn't a philosophy, uh, philosophy video, so uh, we'll just, uh, I'll try to shut up now. It's been a long trip, let's just say that. But what I brought along for shelter was just uh, my tarp, my DIY tarp. Once again, another DIY item here. The only reason, honestly, I brought this, there was no chance of rain, but we do get some high winds out here. Uh, fortunately, this trip, we didn't have any, so I actually did not even use the tarp. Uh, but I did bring it along with me as a source of protection, basically from wind, in the event that I needed it. Um, and uh, also heat. Uh, like I said, it's uh, it was in the 90s during this trip, and uh, there's no shade out here. Uh, we've got a little bit of sagebrush, but uh, you know, in the event, get a lot of, a little bit overheated um, out in the flatlands. Um, had some source of uh, shade, some source of protection from the sun. So uh, it didn't end up needing it, but uh, actually used it for a pillow. <laughs> but. Uh, it worked out for that. So in any way to set that up, we don't have any trees or anything out here. So trekking poles, uh, easy setup there. And uh, then I did actually bring along the uh, just some uh, cheap Coglins uh, aluminum stakes uh, instead of the uh, you know different versions. I've, I've used everything from just bamboo sticks, chopsticks to uh, you know the thin aluminum uh, pegs. But the ground out here, the soil is really rocky, really hard, and I need something to be able to penetrate and hold up in that wind. 
and that was the reason for bringing along the uh, little bit heavier duty stakes. So uh, that's about it guys. That was essentially my uh, big three system for this trip out here in the desert. Well, that's about all there is to it, guys. Like I said, just kind of a quick snapshot of uh, gear selection for a particular trip and how I kind of go about tailoring it to whatever activity, uh, environment, or weather that I'm going to be facing. And in this instance, it was kind of an eclectic choice in some of the gear here. So um, anyway, that's about all I got. And uh, just uh, wanted to say that I will be posting uh, footage of that trip once I can get it all pieced together here, hopefully really quickly. It was a fun trip. Didn't turn out exactly the way I planned, but I uh, still had a lot of fun out there and got to enjoy the solitude of the desert. So I'm um, really looking forward to putting that trip together on video and getting it uploaded here. Uh, other than that, I just wanted to say thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, really appreciate the support, as always. And uh, until next time, we'll be seeing you guys later.